Hello everybody! So I finally finished the scarf for my friend's birthday, which was in May. So now you finally get to see the process of it. Last year my friend wanted a Beauty and the Beast scarf, and this year she wanted a Doctor Who scarf. So that's what I'm doing. I did a Dalek, and there's going to be three different sonic screwdrivers, and the TARDIS. It's kind of funny because I don't actually watch Doctor Who. I tried. I really did. I like the idea of Doctor Who. However, it's a little too creepy for me. So this is the most I do for Doctor Who things. I make stuff for my friend. This is the sketch I did with the water erasable fabric marker, which is fun. And there's the sketch. This is a part of the process which is really tedious and not super fun, but it is important to do it and do it well. And that's stitching the scarf to the frame so that it's all stretched out and so it doesn't sag and do weird things while you're working on it. This sort of thing takes me about the length of a movie. Just like a standard length movie, not a long one, but yep, yep a full movie. So I'm listening to probably some Disney movie. Then finally, two weeks later or so, I finally did the lines that are the important very important part. If you don't do the lines and you just try to color without doing lines, it's not good. Don't do it. <laughs> the lines are called Guta. It's spelled G-U-T-T-A and this is black Guta. And I'm using the smallest tip that I could possibly find. And the Guta lines are important because they act as a resist for the dye. So if you don't have them, your dye just goes all over everywhere and it just doesn't work. During this process, I noticed more than I usually do how difficult straight lines are with this. Because you are not only just drawing, you have to squeeze the guta out of the tube as you are drawing, and sometimes your lines go a little wobbly. So that's really difficult to deal with when you are drawing something that is completely made of straight lines and circles. I think I eventually figured it out, but I definitely had times where I was like, oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. But it turned out alright. So I will probably not do another Doctor Who themed scarf, unless someone pays me a lot of money. <laughs> just the trying to draw straight lines and circles on a moving piece of fabric. It just is not very easy. It's very tricky, really. And then not only do you have to draw straight lines and nice circles, but you have to make sure all the lines meet each other so that you don't have any gaps where the dye can get through. So that's important. And I like drawing this big swirl because it means I can make a whole bunch of different colors in the background, which is always nice. Then I use clear Guta for white lines. So for this scarf, it didn't happen a lot, but in the words on the TARDIS, so police box, and then all those little sparkly looking things that I tried to make look like stars. And there we have the lines all finished. Thanks for watching.